Hello people and welcome to AAA. My name is Ozaris. I'm here joined by McCheese and we are playing some Ultima Online. I'm just gonna log in here. Yes, hey everybody. We are playing on the server Atlantic. And we log in. So this will be our our first episode in a, a running series about the evolution of MMOs um, where we'll be taking a look at different games starting with this Ultima Online this is where it and all then, started people yes <laughs> the first MMO indeed our first great first popular MMO and let's just keep it at that yeah there have been uh, graphical MMOs like this out beforehand but this was pretty much the the first, let's call it major MMO, even though it wasn't wasn't that major. I mean, it 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 peaked in uh, 2003 with 250,000 subscribers, and right now we are looking at less than 100,000. Yeah, well, if, if so you if you compare it to, I mean, how many people actually played games back in 1997 versus now? I mean, back then you had to be a proper nerd in order to play video games. Now almost everyone does, so it's. It's hard to compare, really. Yeah, and let alone have a stable connection so you can play online all the time. And and it was the the first game that actually brought a lot of players into the same area, into the same realm, um, or shard as they prefer to call them in Ultima. Uh, so so yeah, it did it did a lot of things like that. Yeah, um, we're playing on an enhanced client. Um, this client allows me to fill, uh, play the game in full screen on widescreen. Uh, the normal client seems to have some problems with that and the UI is a bit cleaner, more for people like us that have never played MMOs before World of Warcraft uh, to, to get a bit more sense of how the game works because the classic client was quite overwhelming. Um, yeah, you tried the classical client, right? Because yes, I never get to that. Yes, I did. It was actually quite cool the way the inventory worked and stuff but this gives a bit more overview and it's just a bit nicer and cleaner and more tr traditional I guess that word is kind of weird to use because this is the first MMO that came out but <laughs> yeah we are here uh, we logged into the trading area uh, which is total madness this is just individual people having personal shops open where they can sell stuff and it is madness the fact that this it game is. Is, is still has a player base of like almost 100,000 people with subscriptions is really amazing, if you ask me. Yes, indeed. I've been I've been quite surprised by the number of people we have met in, uh, in here. I mean, that are just hanging out in the cities and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really... I, I, I was partly expecting like a dead world, but yeah. uh, look, there's a lot of player, players in this area. Or some players hanging around, but we can try and go back to Ooh, a golem. to uh, one of the, the early starting cities. Yeah. And uh, so far the players have been quite nice. Uh, the, they are quite social and have given me this yeah, whole armor set that, that you can see right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, but the, the people before that guy that gave me this armor as well, just they are generally quite nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, they are. A few I've been talking to as well have been very kind. So you can have armor oh, and then clothing. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. But, uh, yeah. I am just going to port back to uh, New Haven, Ozzy. Yes, I will join you. Oh, I'm too far away. So, the way this works is... Um, you walk with clicking your right mouse button and the further away your mouse is the faster you walk and you attack item uh, mobs by going into war mode right here the music changes very dramatic and you have to double click a mob the mob will come to you and you start attacking it's it's as basic as that and uh, here you have your character sheet I'm just showing off the character sheet and stuff uh, character abilities Honestly, I'm not 100% sure how it all works, but I cannot even use these uh, attacks yet because I need to level my weapon and tactic skills. 
So the way this game works is not by levels, as most of you people are used to when playing MMOs, but you just get a shitload of stats, which I can show you right here, skills. All these stats at all the skills, you can level all these skills if you would want to. Uh, no, sorry, not all of them. You only have a certain amount of points that you can use. Um, but yeah, you just have to scale them up by doing stuff. Combat, fencing, archery, uh, and it's just rinse and repeat, just using your spells. And uh, the higher the number gets, the longer it takes, really. And it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty it basic. Is, it is it's very much just learning by doing. Yeah, it's just um, grinding. So the more you do stuff, the more you'll learn it, and eventually you'll get to the max. Um, but the thing is that, since this isn't like, um, what's it called? Since you don't really have a max level you can get to, uh, instead they have a max number of skill points you can get. Yes. That's what so I showed right I, here. I yes, exactly. So. And of course, if you suddenly uh, end up deciding that, oh, you didn't want that skill or something, you can set that skill to uh, decrease instead. Yes. Or you can lock it in place. So you have a lot of yeah. options to really customize your character, actually, to be exactly how you want it to be. Yeah, indeed. And so I, I'm almost certain that there are places on the internet where you can uh, find a lot of theory crafting about that. Oh, yes. What was that website called again? Yo. 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 I think it was something called Yo. Uh, there's a site called Yo Guide, at least. Oh, yeah. There's also something called your strategy or something. A strategy, yeah. That's there are some dedicated sites out there, just yeah. like there is for more or less any other MMO. Yeah. So the reason why we're both playing character with this sword is because um, playing magic uh, class is kind of hard for new players, apparently. And a uh, strength character is a bit more easy <laughs> to come around with. You just with. say that because you didn't... You just I, say that because you failed at playing a necromancer. I played a necromancer and I needed all these weird regions to, to, order to even cast my spells. So every class gets a spell book, uh, which I'm showing right here. And these are just spells that you can put on your hotbar. But as you can see here, one spell costs 10 tithing and some mana. So what is tithing? I have number of titan, titan points available here, 2290. The way I can get these points is by offering money, which basically what Titan means, in a, to a shrine. So I'm offering gold to my god in order to get points, which I can then use to do my skills. So this class is quite expensive. Although, but then again, gold isn't exactly hard to come by. In no, this it's game. not. As you can see, I have, four, uh, I have 450 so gold right now, but we had like 10k almost earlier, but we died because we went to some weird area and got one shot and he took our gold. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's very useful. But yeah, we was in a high level area and it turned out that wasn't the best idea of all, but we managed to kill one mob out there and that dropped like 3k, so... Yeah, quite a nice. I mean, you, you, you shouldn't have... A, it shouldn't be a major issue, I suppose. But then again, I, I saw some items that... Uh, at one of the traders back in the other world that cost like 1.5 million or something. So, mm -hmm. so uh, this game didn't have a chat uh, in the start at release, <laughs> did you say that? Yes, that's true. The chat was introduced, uh, <laughs> I don't remember if the first past your first expansion or something, but... We should uh, go out in the world and do something. What are we going to do? <laughs> well, I mean, um, so the, this game, uh, one of the ways to get items and stuff is by crafting. There's a lot of different crafting professions in here and gathering professions for that matter. Yeah. As is the, as is the case with the, the most MMOs, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we have tried that out a little bit. I tried to uh, farm some iron earlier. And that's basically just get a pickaxe and find a place where there's iron, uh, like there is out here. So these these red dots on the ground is uh, is iron that you can mine, but it's again this is based on your mining uh, skill then that mm -hmm. will increase as you mine, um, and the more it increases, the bigger is your chance of actually getting some kind of iron from it. So that in itself is is chance based, and yeah. then afterwards you'll have this you have this iron and you have to melt it into uh, into bars. 
and that is also uh, that that's I think that's just blacksmithing related to the blacksmithing skill. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that it's also based on chance. So you first have to mine a lot of a lot of uh, raw iron ore, and then you have to meld it into bars, and you will lose a lot in the process. Yeah. Okay. So. And, and then you can of course craft afterwards. Yeah, I'm just showing the folks some fishing here. It's fairly simple. It's just random <laughs> catching. But um, yeah, this game involves a lot of grinding. It, uh, it's, it requires a lot of your time and dedication. Uh, from what I've read, a lot of people uh, have more than one character. They have one character completely devoted to crafting. They have their stats totally built out for crafting and then the other one for combat. So yeah if you want to play it right you have to do it at least that and of course we don't have the time or energy to even do that so we're not uh, going to show you much of that but we do want to show you some of the game worlds and we're back sorry about that the game crashed but i'm logging back in now as fast as i can at least there's no loading times so it's like boom we're there <laughs> Yeah, that's probably that's probably the good thing about it. I mean, this client was released in I don't even know anymore. Was it two thousand and seven or seven, eight or something? Seven, yeah. But e yeah, but even that, it it I mean, it can run on any computer. Yes. Uh, pretty much. So unless you have an Amiga, then you can run it or a Commodore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, should we go somewhere exciting? See what there's out there. Because right now we are on like, yeah, this is your okay, starting that, area that where you, you just start here and you basically get this basic tutorial, how things work, and then you go into the city where you can find quests to level your basic skills to 50 and you get a reward. And that's what we've been doing before we yes, started this video. Exactly. So when we, started the, when we started the game, we were actually allowed to start anywhere in this world, but yes. this was the place they recommended, and it is basically because you'll get a, a quick introduction on how the games work, you'll get all these intro quests uh, that just uh, rewards you for leveling up a certain skill past 50, and then it will give you some nice item. And there's a ton of random NPCs all around this island um, that asks, asks you to bring them to some place inside the city, so you'll learn where that place is, and in the process you'll make some gold, so. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know, as you, as those you probably can show you, this world isn't that exciting, actually. I mean, it's it's kind of the same environment all over the place. Um, there are some different the areas, but there's a lot of green, and, and stuff. I don't know, maybe there is some differentness, but I don't think so. This island here looks really badass, but a huge volcano on there. It looks really cool. Some snow okay, island I there. Just, I Where'd just you? went to uh, Takuna Island. On which... Which one was that? Yeah, oh, there, Takuna Island. It's called... Isuma Jima? Isamu, I, Isamu Jima, yeah. Okay. All right, there. Are we gonna get so flooded by a tsunami here? Ja <laughs> Japanese theme to it. Right. Do we try? Should I just try and kill one of those? Pieces? Oh God. Yes, we should so do that. Yes, I know we have some bad experience in the past. It doesn't seem too bad. Whoa, what an, elite an elite ninja! Ninja, what is this? Uh, oh, see, is that a good thing? What did he even? Oh, I'm not dead. Didn't even kill the bull. I'm working on that part. Oh, jeebus! Is that was this a, is this a punishment for killing random animals? Ah, oh, that could be. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I certainly hope not. This is I can that at is least some nasty security system they have here. At least I can show off. Uh, the area here, or the death mechanic, I mean. So what you have to do, you spawn at your body dead, and you have to walk to a spirit healer. Uh, which will then res you, and you then have 15 minutes to walk back to your corpse, otherwise your items disappear. And a lot of times, one of your items or several items will disappear. Um, in my experience, it has been gold. 
So it's yeah, very, very, so very that... punishing for you if you die, and it's you have to be really careful with what you do. Oh, I have my gold. Okay, Osir, are you ready to engage this guy? No. Are you kiting him? Yep. All right, I'm coming. Let's do it. Okay, so I need to heal myself first. Definitely. It's funny how I have to cast the heal first, say the words, and then I can click. Myself. Holy, damn, he hurts. Dude, look at look at how much HP he has. Yeah, but look at his name. He's red. Yeah, I red. died horribly as well. <laughs> I have a, I have this idea that this might not be the best idea at all. No, I'm going to uh, New Haven again. Quick. Yeah, cut. that's cool. I'll be with you in a second. I think we should go okay, to that town where yeah. we were earlier and just walk from there because that seemed low level. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. I hope this ninja is gone. Oh, he's definitely not gone. At least he's kind of slow though. You could also, did you show how you had to put your items back on? That was yes, I did. Weird. That, that if you want to replace out, but... this sword and this shield, you have to first take off the sword and oh, the shield, and then you have to drag on the other item. That they haven't changed those kind of things over the last fifteen years is kind of strange, if you ask me. But maybe because they wanted to stay true to the game that they haven't changed that because obviously this is still appealing to a rough 80,000 people and not to mention all the private servers people are running for this game as well but yeah there's there's a lot of these things why didn't they just do that but of course it's an it's a very early game and it's interesting to see how because they I, th have then I think developed this, from here this game appeals to the the hardcore rpg players that that love to do everything themselves the grinding and, and stuff and I think it works well because it's very realistic if you look at it like everything you have to do in order to buy every you can increase your skill by doing it repetitively very very realistic that way whereas in current MMOs it's all been changed to be more convenient and easy and fun where here's more real realistic and I just stayed true to that original concept and I think that that's just the whole idea behind this game. Yeah, especially it's just stuff like that. You lose all your items if you uh, if you are gone from your corpse for too long. That's a very punishing mechanic. But yeah, it is. Uh, but, but then, then again, it makes in you this cautious. Game, you just don't have this. Yeah. Yes, and you don't don't have the same uh, tie to your to your items as you'll have in later games, where every item is like special to you and you've earned it. In this game, it's much more. You have items and then you'll lose them, and then you'll get some new one or craft some new one. I think it it reminds me a bit of of Eve in that regard. Yeah. Will, will you don't come here? The world if Are you, you gonna transport here? Or? Uh, well, I don't know. My corpse is <laughs> probably back at the other place because I got killed the moment I, in the very moment that I took the. Oh come on! So my my spirit made it through the portal, but the rest. My items didn't. My corpse didn't. Okay, so it's still on the well, island, the yeah? It's gone now, so... Oh, god damn it! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I die again! <laughs> you can just uh, go somewhere and I'll... Oh, watch out, there's probably a ninja right on top of you. I can't even... So this I'll, is just I'll kite very... him around. Alright, the problem is, for me at least, that it's very... Uh slow to navigate different menus and stuff so okay I'm back at another place now so I can just go from here yeah I'm gonna try to walk a great big circle where did you go well I'll just meet you in um, what was that place you was before okay the ninja appears naked I Ishana N no wait it was uh, Malas and it was Luna yeah I just went randomly Malas somewhere I just there. have to yeah, yeah, exactly. Same here. Luna. Okay, Luna. There we go. No, that's not where we went. That's the trading area. You want that other high level place? Yeah, because we can't go anywhere from this trading place. It's like an island. Yeah, okay. So where did you go now? No, nowhere. Oh, I'm yeah. still here. 
Ilshina. So we went, we were at Ilshina at some point and we got got killed horribly. Mm hmm. I think we were in Tamil and then Minak. Minak, that's where we went. Ah, oh, yeah, that place. Yeah, that's cool. Let's just do that.